You can see the sweat on my face. This is take two. The first take was very blurry, so I'm doing it again. Hey everyone, Atlanta Pride is this weekend, and I'm so excited for Pride because I'm not straight, and I love getting to hang out with other not straight people. I thought it'd be fun if I told kind of my coming out story in honor of Atlanta Pride coming up soon. So here we go. I have it typed on my computer, so I might be reading off the screen a little bit. So, realizing I am bisexual was a years long process. I had always been attracted to girls, but I didn't know that the way I felt was unusual for everyone. I thought everyone, all girls, I thought they all looked at other girls and saw how beautiful they were and how soft they were and how nice they were to look at. As I got older and everyone started to have crushes on boys, I learned that girls like boys. So I started to have crushes on boys too and I set aside the way that I felt about girls. There were too many hormones, too much drama, uh, too many other things going on in my life, really, for me to think about the butterflies girls gave me and really worry. I just kind of, I knew that it was a thing and I didn't think too much about it. When I got into high school though, I was forced to face the truth. Freshman year, a sleepover with a good female friend of mine revealed to me that I was more than curious about girls. We had an experience together. Um, the cover of Night gave us bravery that we would not have in the next day to discuss what had happened between the two of us. Um, and we never talked about it ever, actually. And that was sad, but we just, we didn't, I didn't know how to handle my feelings, honestly, so. That's just what happened. Um, I never told her, you know, what I, how I felt about what happened between us. I never told anyone or that anything happened between us for a long time. Um, and yeah, so my next experience with a girl was around, around the age of like 16. Um, and she was a mutual friend who was introduced to by other, a friend I was introduced to by mutual friends. Um, and she just gave me the butterflies, man. We had our first sleepover, our first time ever hanging out without anyone else. We like had gone down to the kitchen to get water, ended up sitting on the floor, and we just like literally sat on the floor of her kitchen all night laughing, talking, taking selfies, just being cute. Um, and yeah, the what we had together was complicated by the dynamics of our friend group. There was lots of drama, lots of cattiness, because teenage girls, um, but that didn't stop us from sneaking away for a kiss and cuddling each other to sleep and being adorable. Um, after her, I pretty much exclusively dated guys, you know, ages like 17 to 21, 22. I dated guys, I had two serious relationships, you know, loved them very much. Things didn't work out as they do. I need to take a quick filming break. Whew. Whew. I'm like squatting to get this angle. Whew. Um, all right, all right. And so, so like five years basically of only being with guys had me wondering like, was I confused? Am I, was I just questioning my sexuality? Is what they say about bi people true? Have I picked a side? And you know, that wasn't true. That was just like me having other people's like opinions get in my way, you know? Um, and then I met a girl this year who kind of confirmed for me, oh, nope, I'm not straight. She's so funny and she's beautiful and smart and just so fun to talk to and like so interesting. And um, like when I would ask her out, I would like have to toss my phone across the room because I was so nervous about what she might say, even though like I knew she liked me. Um, things didn't work out with her and that's okay. My um, phone's dying. Gotta hurry. So things didn't work out with her, um, but we had a really good summer of memories together. I regret none of the time I spent with her. I had so much fun getting to know her. Um, and I also learned some things from dating her. I learned, one, I had not yet told my parents that I am not straight, and I wanted to tell them. Two, I enjoy getting to know new people. You don't have to date to find a partner or a husband or whatever. You can just date someone to make memories together and to have fun. And then third thing I learned was as a bi girl, I'll be coming out forever. People mistook us for friends, sisters, anything but people who are dating. And that kind of got to me a little bit. I don't like that, but you know, 
we all have challenges that we have to face, right? So, and then let me tell you present day. So this weekend I decided to come out to my parents. It was time. I just casually told, told my mom in the kitchen while my dad was like watching TV. I said, hey mom, there's something I have to tell you. It's not a big deal. It's not even a secret. It's just like something I haven't told you. I'm bi, meaning I can fall in love with both men and women. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go change clothes now. And then she texted me a few minutes later to say, Kristen, I love every piece of you. And that made me really happy. So get excited for Atlanta Pride this weekend if you are in Atlanta. And thank you for listening to my coming out story. Have a good day.